The overall aim of this procedure is to express milligram amounts of CFTR protein in Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This is accomplished by first selecting transformant colonies for growth and expression trials in 50 milliliter cell cultures. Next, the cells are lysed and CFTR expressing colonies are identified. Then the highest CFTR expressing colonies are grown in a 15 liter fermenter culture. Finally, the cells are lysed and CFTR containing microsomes are prepared. Ultimately, the results show expression and extraction of GFP-fused CFTR through in-gel fluorescence and fluorescence microscopy. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods for CFTR expression is that it employs a simple eukaryotic host that is cheap, fast and easy to grow. It has a green fluorescent protein tag that allows quick monitoring of expression levels. And finally, molecular biology steps are minimised in this procedure. This method can help to answer key questions in the field of cystic fibrosis, such as the biophysical properties of the CFTR protein. Implications of this technique extend towards therapy for cystic fibrosis because it could lead to new drug screens based on the purified protein. New categories of drugs could result from this. Drugs which interact directly with the protein, the primary defect in cystic fibrosis, should be more specific and potentially have fewer pleiotropic effects. Furthermore, purification of large amounts of the protein are important for obtaining a high resolution structure for the CFTR protein. Structure based